What is up everyone? It's your man Busy Brian and we are finally here with Crisis, man. Oh man, words don't, can't even explain how excited I am. I've been waiting for this for so long before I even did my reactions. I remember I, I dropped reviews for um the Arrowverse like a, a year ago or whatever and um, I remember being so excited for Elseworlds and then now we are here with, oh, oh man. So the thing is, there's probably going to be so much in this so I'm going to try my best to put in as much as I can for my reaction part, but I did react to two sneak peeks for this episode, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have those sneak peeks be separate videos, and I'm going to end up taking those um, out, so you guys can just go to my playlist, you guys can find those um, those sneak peeks separately from the, you know, the video, because I'm not going to end up putting those in the final cut, if you guys know what I'm saying, and those sneak peeks are when, um, when... Harbinger brought the Flash and um, White Canary to the DEO for the first time and, um, you know, freaked them out. And then when um, Harbinger just went to the DEO for the first time. So it's like when you see the building, you know, rise up. I don't know how to explain it. But you can find those parts in um, the, the, the playlist that I have. I'll try my best to link it down below, but I don't know if I'll end up remembering to do that. But just to let you guys know, that's something that I'm trying my best. I want to make sure I can get as much of the reaction I can. But I just wanted to let you guys know that... If you are looking for certain parts, they may be in the, the playlist. So I I know I'm blabbing about that and I've been doing that. So I'm going to end up shutting my mouth. I am very excited to get this. I even got those these little Funkos. You know, I got this for my birthday like two years ago and it's tight as hell. It does not fit, but you know, I had to pull it out just for safekeeping. And I, you know, I am just super excited. You know, I'm blabbing. You guys aren't here to hear my react. To hear me talk. You guys are here for the reaction. Again, if you're new to the channel, it would mean a lot. If you can hit that subscribe button, I will be reacting to every episode of Crisis, including when it comes back in January. And again, I I am all over the place, man. So I'm going to shut up and we're going to get into this. Again, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you let me know. Drop comments. Um, I made a post, so I mean, drop comments and I will answer them for my tomorrow's, for tomorrow's video. Um, just make sure you comment and have questions. Comment your favorite part and I will kind of say your name and say what question you had or what your comment was and I will answer that at the end of my next um, video or whatever. And um, again, I am super excited. So without further ado, man, let's get busy. Shit, guys, before I start, someone did have a question. So... Kalaya Harris says, oh yeah, crisis is tonight. Do you think Barry, how do you think Barry is going to react when he sees Oliver's daughter, Mia? So I don't know if they'll end up like, like making it too big of a deal, you know? But then again, Nora was relevant. Like she was around when we had Elseworlds and then we didn't end up really, they didn't mention her or do any of that. Like they, like you would think that they would have mentioned her, but Mia is going to be a big part of this crossover. So I do expect something to come up um, because I don't even know if Oliver knows about Nora. So this is all, all crazy stuff. And I'm just really looking forward to seeing their reaction. And I honestly think Barry's is kind of been like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's not that's nothing new, you know. I, I, I've been there, done that, so I think it will be a little funny exchange. And that that's the only comment we had um for before that I'm gonna answer. So I'm gonna answer everything else after. And again, let's get busy. What the fuck was that? Guess Supergirl was able to save you. <laughs> now go. <laughs> Supergirl saved you. Supergirl saved you. Supergirl saved you. Hey Spike, remember me? Oh, this is Spike oh, from earlier. Oh, I remember this guy. Yes. There is dragons and Supergirl now, relax. We have a major crisis on our hands. Ah. Argo City. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Can you warn them? This day, apprehended General Zod. Yo, they're crib. It's Kryptonian now, bro. I love it. <laughs> Citizens of Earth could see Cal el struggling with spit up. Lois, <laughs> Ar Ara? In pan? You need <laughs> Argo is in danger. You need to get out now. Uh, oh no. Krypton all over again, bro. Oh no, it's all over again. <laughs> we will never leave you. This shit's too familiar, bro. Oh god. Ah, ha ha. So this is the end of the last episode. Now uh, here we go. <laughs> I'm Harbinger now. Turning our attention to uh, the here we go. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh... Uh, she was about to make him talk. <laughs> <laughs> There's an old sugar factory. Where is it? 
The multiverse is in great danger. You are needed. I'll deal with whatever your crazy is in a minute. There is no more time. <laughs> of the last song James Joplin <laughs> ever recorded. <laughs> there really and the answer, and the answer <laughs> to our final robot man, Strange Business Time Legends. Uh, no, that's, that's wrong. Tough. Mercedes-Benz was Janis Joplin's last song. Sure, at Woodstock, when I was supposed to steal a lock of Janis Joplin's hair without her noticing. Oh my god, yeah. this is the worst. Man, it's worse than and Barry. Me, <laughs> well, congratulations, you changed history and lost us trivia night. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> What's with the suit? State of the antimatter wave, thereby dissipating the antimatter energy. Yes. Finally, someone who speaks my language. Uh -huh. If you want, I could probably give it an upgrade. Depends on how attached you are. Pretty attached. So the tower can start. Jonathan's pod has disappeared from our radar. Oh no. It's been sucked into a wormhole. What are the coordinates? We've been there before. Oh god. The future. We travel to a parallel Earth in the future. You know, Oliver. I've seen Playboy Oliver, Vigilante Oliver, but I never thought I would see Parents Oliver. <laughs> it's it's so weird. But it looks good on you. Ah, oh, Sarah. <laughs> Transmatter portal? Who could build one big enough? I mean, not even Lena. Brain Lena. Lena. Uh -huh. Oh, poor no. guy. Argo's gone. <laughs> this whole planet. We've done it a dozen times, and we're going to do it again. Ah, oh, she jinxed the shit out of that. <laughs> I have something for you. What is it? Oh, Don't tell me it's the hood. Well, that's it's new. <laughs> there should always be at least one green arrow. Uh, oh, passing the mantle. If you're not here to wear this, no one should. You earned it. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Fastest man alive shows up late to the crisis we've been expecting for years. Isn't that the best <laughs> look, Barry? <laughs> In this crisis, I'm supposed to die. No. No. We need to talk now. Oh, we need shit. To hey, right now! <laughs> I'm about to say, I've been waiting for this conversation. It's the time for discussion, Oliver. And Kara. Live. Yes. Oh no. Keep the cosmic <laughs> Are you telling Barry that he's gonna die? I spare you. So more motivated. Don't, so I don't have this world last ah. year. Come on, this man. Is a very different threat. Damn you need it. to stop playing games with me. This threat brings with it the annihilation of all life and all realities. You know. Ah. Oh, Lena. I'm anxious to see how this goes, oh man. I didn't use Myriad. That was Eve Tessmacher. You and I both know that that isn't true. <laughs> yeah. Do that. We need your help. They see how hard I that was for us. Come on. That I lied to you. Oh, uh, should look at that bunker. <laughs> what is he asking? Well, he probably thought he was rescuing him. Jonathan back. In the meantime, we should... Oh, no. This is unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? This is Oliver Queen. Who is it? <laughs> Wait, this is the old man Oliver. <laughs> old man Oliver, I missed this. <laughs> he shook. No, it's not possible. Oh man. You're dead. <laughs> oh no. You went down with the gamut. Oh. Bring my baby. No, oh, that's crazy. How much I love her. Ah. Oh, that's badass, bro. <laughs> uh, if I can have one of those without losing an appendage. <laughs> so cool. Incredible balance. Shut up! <laughs> oh, this is badass, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good save. Oh yeah, the cavalry. <laughs> oh, Dreamer over there in the corner. Oh, well damn. 
Oh, friendship's back. <laughs> Parallel. Earth. Oh, man. We're not about to see Oliver die twice, three. <laughs> A whole series of events. And neither you or I could have ever oh, dreamed no, of. Oh, no, man. You became a hero, a husband, a father, <laughs> and I'm flying through time happier than I've ever been. Stop! I'm sorry to break up what I'm sure must be the strangest reunion in the history of the world, but um, <laughs> if we don't leave... You're a good man on every earth. Oh. We might lose the planet, but we can still save the people. Ah. Well, genius here, so don't mistake us working together for friendship. Ah, I told you before, relax, relax. Karen, you showed me who you were, and I accept that. Yeah, I need to learn how to do that. Oh, he's about to catch you. No. Oh, shh. Too close for comfort. <gasps> or you got to one up me, huh? Oh shit! Ooh, she she got the shield now. <laughs> James left it for me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the battle is lost. We must retreat and save our resources for the Oh no. Oh damn it. No. <laughs> Entirely. Then it's not time it's yet. Not time. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Oliver. Oh, my God. No, Stuart. I'm leaving. You're going to do it this early. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Oliver! <laughs> oh no, Oliver! <laughs> he fought to his last breath. 7.53 billion. Three billion souls made it to Earth 1. On the Armada no. ships. I calculate one billion souls survived due to his noble sacrifice. Oh! Pariah! <laughs> to become a... Pariah. Pariah. Damn it, bro. That's okay, Sarah. <laughs> oh, no. You, my friend, I gave it all up for you and Carl. Ah! <laughs> no. You stop. This is not his ending I foresaw. What? Don't do this now! Bro, what the fuck? <sighs> Yo, so that was a hell of an episode, guys. Really hit me in the feels. Did not expect for that to go down that early. Definitely, without a, without a doubt, I did not expect that. Honestly, very, not disappointing, but it just is very shocking, you know? Because we have four episodes left in this crossover. I kind of expected it to be maybe in the episode of The Flash or, you know, even in his own episode. But no, they decided to go with the first part. And it is an... It's just crazy because he died in a way the Monitor did not foresee. So that is just kind of changing a lot of the things, you know? Because, I mean, of course, Barry, he, he thought he was supposed to die. And then we get to see the whole interaction in the beginning where it was like, like Oliver was like, oh, yo, I, like he was talking to Barry and Barry was like, yes, like, you remember that newspaper I showed you? This is sadly how I'm going to go, you know? And, and Oliver, you know, straight up. Because, you know, him and the Monitor have a better connection. Well, not connection. Well, relationship, I guess, in a way. Working relationship than the other hero. So, I mean, of course, he knows how to get in contact. He knows all that stuff. So, straight up, he's like, he's like, he's like, yo, let's talk. Like, he starts yelling and that, that shout right away. I was like, yo, this dude's tight, bro. Because this whole season of Arrow has been about him trying to, like, like kind of, like, change places with Barry and Kara and him kind of like coming to terms with the fact that there is no way that he can change his fate and then Marnavu wanted to come out the cut and say oh no I said that I would kind of spare them for last year's um crossover but no 
this is a whole different situation. So that kind of, that, that, that was all over. That kind of got me a little going, you know, it got me going. And a lot of people are dropping theories that they think that Barry is going to disappear during the Flash episode, which does make sense, I guess. And then during that little hiatus, he'll end up coming back later on, which I don't know. But I mean, they could end up making that work, you know, I don't know. But like I said, I feel like this was way too early in, in some ways, only because I want to cherish every moment we have of Oliver, you know, like I want to make sure that, that we like use what we can of him. But you know, they had um the the what is it the Earth 16, so that was actually a pretty cool way to bring him um into the you know like bring him in I guess. I honestly thought maybe they'd end up bringing him to Earth one, so that way if that if Oliver wanted to make his return, he could you know come back as the Earth 16 old man Green Arrow, who we have not seen since I believe 2016 when DC Legends first dropped, and that was um I believe they had an episode called. Um, Star City 2046 and that was when we were introduced to the Connor Hawk character and um, Slade's son and those two actors actually are playing kind of the similar characters now and present now like here except um, Connor Hawk is um, playing um, the Bronze Tiger's son, uh, um, son and not Diggle's son or whatever because that's that's how it was in the earlier thing that just totally got rid of that but now we had the old man Oliver in the 2046 episode and it's awesome that they kind of found a way to bring him back before he is off you know and it'd be pretty cool if Stephen Amell was able to come back in the future years you know and obviously not as um our green arrow maybe even just for a little cameo memories I, I really don't know but this whole thing was crazy you know like like my head is like like I enjoyed every single minute. I told you guys to drop some questions, so I'm going to try to see if um, you guys got enough or whatever the case is. But like I was saying, then we even got little cameos in the beginning, which honestly kind of blew my mind. Because there was rumors that they were going to drop Titans in this. And honestly, I expected maybe a little cameo if they were to do anything, but I'm like, nah. And then a lot of people were like, I think Recon was a word. They were like, like oh yeah, that's been debunked, that's not happening. And then there was a leaked script or whatever, but that leaked script that they had, it's, to it's like nothing um, rem like nothing remotely to what we ended up getting. They were saying something like, oh yeah, the Titans have actually end up saying something, then you see the, the Red Skies or whatever, but that's not our Titans, I'm almost 100% sure. Only be it was the same actors, yes. And which I did not expect either, but it was um of course Jason Todd isn't even taking up the mantle still he's not even Robin anymore I'm pretty sure because last time we saw him he was rolling off at um the person's funeral I'm not trying to say because you know spoilers but again this is um this episode then we actually get Burt Ward who is someone we um haven't seen of course since the 1960s of course I wasn't alive then but you know that's not the point um we got to see him and of course he ended up having that little the the little wacky um lines like he was like oh holy crimson skies um I don't know but the way he said it it was just totally 1960s right and um you guys can hate me for saying this but the first person that popped up I wasn't really familiar with the music I was but I, I didn't want to guess who it was I have a couple guesses but like sometimes I'm not that great with, with certain things so I didn't want to I don't want to say because I don't want to sound like an idiot um because I feel, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get it totally wrong just in case but make sure you let me know who the first cameo was down and down in the comments because I honestly feel like a dickhead for not knowing but then we get a little er look at Earth X with Ray so I'm not sure if they ended up bringing the actor back or any what the case was but we actually see him I'm super excited for the next episode because we are going to be getting Bruce Wayne because we saw that that I'm pretty sure Bruce Wayne is going to be coming in the Batwoman episode and I think we will be getting I think it's Tom Mullen Tom Mullen in the next episode I can't remember I, I I'm getting all the descriptions all screwed up but again Lena ended up being our, our little savior um, helped us save about like two billion people Oliver saved the last um, billion due to the, what mon the monitor said so it's like it's honestly really cool I knew Lena was gonna help without a doubt um of course everything that's going on with them so that that was a big problem but she made it really clear she thinks she's a good well I mean she, I'm just gonna say she's a good guy right that's what she's trying to get her point across saying that she's the good guy so she has no intention of even killing Supergirl I'm pretty sure that she made that clear of course of course, like, she was finding ways and it looked like it, but, I mean, she was like, oh, I'm not gonna kill her, that's not the way, or whatever. Even saying that, like, that's not her way, she's not gonna kill anybody, but she was making it really clear that she wanted her to feel the same pain that Lena ended up feeling. So then, um, of course, I expected her to help, because she wants to, she's, just because she's pissed at Kara does not mean she's not gonna save the universe, of course. So, I mean, I expected her to come through. It's like, like, with Lex, for example. Lex isn't just gonna let that universe get destroyed unless he, unless he's, um, getting something in return. So, like, say if 
like the anti monitor says, Oh, I will give you this power to do whatever, um, then you can do whatever the hell you want. You know, you can just help me destroy this thing. Like, of course, Lex is gonna look out for him, but Lena is different. She knows that people, she's gonna help the people survive, but I mean, she's just not, she just made it clear that I am not your friend. This is strictly pl pl platonic, like, like, fuck off, bro. <laughs> like, that's pretty much it. And it was just, Oh man, like, I am moving like I am nuts, but like, again, we got to see Batwoman, and uh, they didn't really mention much during the Batwoman series about the whole Elseworlds thing, apparently, I mean, people called me out in the comment section, ended up actually helping me, so thank you to, to you guys, but they were saying that, oh yeah, um, they actually mentioned the Arkham Asylum breakout in, I believe, like, episode 3, which is a good thing that they did bring out, I would have liked a little more, but... I mean, I guess you get what you get, but again, then they had the Shadow Demons, again, this review is all over the place, so please, you know... Sorry, but um, again, they had the shadow demons. Of course, someone helped me, ended up teaching me um what they were. Cause at first, I really didn't know who they were. Like, I mean, honestly, I would have ended up calling them Dementors, cause I'm a dickhead. But that's not the point. So the um shadow demons, of course, were in crisis. They were um affiliated with um and the Anti Monitor and Dark Side. But we're, I don't expect to get Dark Side. Maybe even maybe a little like post credit scene, in the fifth um. The fifth episode to like oh our next crisis will be this you know um or our next episode next crossover or whatever but oh man again and they, oh yeah i feel like they totally ripped off the whole krypton thing. i feel like that was that was obviously done on purpose the whole um clark um thing um with argo about to get destroyed of course and like kind of symbolizing krypton and then you see um oriora oh, oh oh my god i can't even say it carl's mom kind of like oh yo this is the only way come here and worrying about them before the others which i mean it's cool but um she put him on the ship, they're like, oh, this is all we have. So, I mean, uh, Lois and Clark both expected to die. And then um, Harbinger came out the cut and saved them both. So, that was something that wasn't planned. So, Harbinger did save them, like they said. But, yeah, jo and then they totally did that thing. And then he got stuck in a black hole. Isn't and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened with... Um, um, that's exactly what happened with Kara. She went into like some temporal thing. And honestly, I thought this was going to be a way that, because a lot of people were theorizing and somebody even asked me if I thought that they were going to end up boosting. So I'm actually going to drop this question. I forget who asked it, so I apologize. But they were like, oh, do you think that they're going to end up dropping, um, making, what is it called, uh, like Jonathan Kent, like kind of an adult or m more o like older when the Superman um, and Lois TV show comes around and obviously they were going to set up things like this is like they said that this was going to be a backdoor pilot and we're getting two shows as far as I know um, and that's going to be Green Arrow on the Canaries I believe it's called and that's like we saw um, Oliver handed uh, Mia a new suit and that was the Green Arrow suit and um, so maybe that's going to be a big thing so I don't know if that's the case but uh, again we got to see her in the suit but then we got to see uh, uh, when Jonathan went, they were like, oh, he went through a black hole, like a temporal thing. But then he ends up on another Earth, which I really am not 100% sure how that happened. I mean, maybe they'll explain it or maybe it's just what, what happened. I really don't know. But that part kind of threw me off a little bit because they were on Earth. They were in Universe 38. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called, right? Or maybe maybe that's not what it's called. I don't know. But I'm just assuming it's the Universe 38, right? Uh, but... And then they sent him off, and then, yeah, he got in a black hole, so maybe, I guess, black hole sent you send you to another universe, but they ended up sending him to Earth-16, which was honestly really cool, and uh, the Oliver from that Earth, and it was even in the future, 2046, ended up being the one that saved him, and um, at first I wasn't sure what was going on, and I was assuming that they weren't, that they weren't going to use Stephen Amell, like, it was going to be a different actor or whatever, because when he came down, like, he was straight up looking down, and usually we're used to that, because that's the case, but I think they were just hiding the fact that it was old man Oliver, just like how we got in 2046, and again, that was honestly a big surprise, I really enjoyed that, and, um, I honestly did not expect to see that so soon, of course, but, um, or at all, but, yeah, so, apparently Jonathan landed there, Oliver helped him, and all this Oliver really looks broken, like, a lot more broken than we've ever seen, because this Oliver apparently was never able to redeem himself with the people that he have hurt, that he's hurt in, in his, hurt in his past, I guess, because apparently things are a little, little same, except he wasn't, didn't make a sacrifice, of course, and he's not dead there, but Sarah never ended up coming back, and I'm assuming Laurel never forgave him, and so all that shit looked really bad, he looked very, like, in a dark place, but he still had the bunker, so I really don't know everything that kind of panned out, of course, but he did make it clear that he did not get to kind of reconcile um with that's the right word right <laughs> with um sarah so sarah kind of told him oh you're a great man in every universe which 
I mean, Earthex, come on, man. You, you, did, you did not forget about that. But that, that's besides the point. Uh, it was, um, it was just a really cool moment between them. And then, of course, Sarah gave him a little kiss on the cheek because she feels so strongly for Oliver. And then we end up having that little moment where even Sarah says, oh, yeah, without, like, like, without that little thing. It was kind of weird how she was explaining it, though, because it was like, she was like, oh, yeah, if you, if I didn't go with you, all these events wouldn't have happened. And she was, like, making it clear that she was kind of grateful for it. But it's like, <laughs> though, like, all I heard in my head when I was hearing that, it's like, oh, yeah, if you didn't cheat on my sister with her sister, then, you know, I wouldn't have became an assassin. I wouldn't have died, like, three times. <laughs> like, I mean, that's all I, all I heard in my head. Of course, she's turned out for the better. But, I mean, it's like, it's like all these little things, I guess, didn't matter. Which I, that's what you love about heroes. It's like, it's like the whole point of heroes is to show, like, um, even in the darkest times, you can come out on top. You know, that's why, like, a lot of the heroes, it seems like they have, like, crazy origin stories. Bruce Wayne parents are dead peter parker you know like oh, all that crap it's like it's like it builds up you know like it's like if they can come back from these moments then you know they're truly a hero which i honestly it's one of my favorite things about different shows like this again i am really um sorry if i did not get to put in every part you want make sure you let me know and i will make a separate video i'm already thinking of doing that because this is honestly super cool and i i'm just all over the place i'm just praying i don't get hit with the, like a little strike if i do then i i that sucks but um i got hit with the strike like a week ago or like a couple days ago so i have one strike and that's because um again you can watch that in a separate video of mine but i'm trying to make sure i'm a little careful that's why i didn't really post too much i was making sure that i was all set for crisis because this is something i've been waiting for for so so freaking long so i am just super excited that we are finally finally here tomorrow another episode is airing so again i will be on top of that and i will be like watching that of course again this is a supergirl episode and we actually got more brainy than we got in the entire crossover from last year which was pretty cool and again yeah, it was a Supergirl episode, so maybe I don't expect to see more of him. We got Dreamer for a little bit. Of course, she was on a little cameo, like a little like side view on top of the bu building. They were like projecting her, and then she was like helping people. And then we got to see um, Guardian's Shield, which I thought was awesome. And it'd be pretty cool if they made um, her um, like a female version of Guardian. You know, maybe we finally get the little comic book suit, like the what I'm pretty sure it's like a little gold or yellow or whatever the case is. But um, James left behind the shield, so maybe he left behind the whole suit. I really don't know, but that was pretty cool seeing that she like like deflected and all that. And then again, the shadow demons. That was a a, a great part because I didn't really know what they were gonna do, honestly. And like yeah, of course it was CGI, but I mean I feel like they didn't look it, they didn't look too bad for a big moment like that. And again, back to Oliver's death. That was something that kind of threw me off. But you see all the freaking shadow demons coming to him, and it threw me, it like got me going crazy because he had tons of arrows left. And then when he got knocked over, um, they, I, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm assuming they fell out, so that's the reason he didn't, like, like have any left. Because if you look, he had, like, a couple left. But then when he gets knocked over, the, the quiver is empty. So then he goes up and, um... That's when he has empty, and then it, I don't know. That's when he like drops the bow, and that that part got me going crazy because this dude like kind of released the beast. Like he looked at them, kind of looked like he showed his teeth and then charged. And I wish we got to see him kind of beat down a couple, but no, they just went straight to commercial, and then we went to um, I don't know, I don't know. I'm all over the place, man. This is honestly great. Of course, we only got two legends, which I'm honestly cool with, and I feel like when the legends episode comes around, we will be getting um more. And apparently, this is not. Somebody was saying in my comments that. This is going to be like episode zero for the Legends. They're going to call it like episode zero when um, the Legends episode comes around. But it's not officially going to be like part of the first e like the first episode or some crap like that. I really don't know what's going on. I'm talking a lot. Let me... Hold on. Oh. Alright. Where was I? Again. I'm hoping we get more cameos because they did make it really clear that the cameos they announced were not going to be it. They, there was probably going to be some more, which I honestly find really exciting. There was even rumors that we might get this Wonder Woman, you know, the classic, you know, the, and we've even had her before in Supergirl, which is awesome. We've had her, um, she played the president, but we haven't seen much of her after she kind of bounced. I mean, I guess uh, everything kind of went the hell after, um. But again, it'd be cool if we got some, a little more cameos. I'm pretty sure they said that the Huntress is going to be coming. And the fact that we did not expect to see Titans and they kind of debunked or whatever the case is. There was rumors that that's not happening. It's going to be awesome that we might see some of that. Um, even I, even now, like this is honestly throwing, going, having me go all over the place. So there was even like rumors where people were hoping that we might see Mark Hamill dressed up as a Joker. And I mean, 
like with the crap we saw in the beginning of this like again I am sorry I'm not 100% sure who that first person was but that music is very familiar like I know they had that in the Lego Batman games I'm pretty sure but um I I'm just not I'm, I don't know if he was a, a again I don't want to I don't want to say it wrong because I'm not even gonna bother myself but um make sure you let me know I feel like a dickhead for not knowing this because I love all things like this but sometimes I'm not I'm not on the spot so again I apologize but again I am looking forward to seeing Huntress I know we're getting her again I don't know I know we're getting Smallville of course so again that's gonna be I believe tomorrow I know that one of the synopsis is that um Iris Lois and Clark go to find some mysterious Kryptonian who is going to be this and we did not get Brent I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Tom Welling but we did not get the um well of course our um Kingdom Come Superman yet so maybe we'll get that next again if you guys made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. But I want you guys to remember that you guys can go to um my my playlist. I'm gonna try to drop it in the comment section. Uh, I mean in the description. Due to um it saved a lot more time. I'd be able to put in more if I took out those parts because I already reacted to those. So it'd just be fake reactions, you know, if I just watched it again or just a waste of time, you know, because I already reacted to those. So I have already separate videos that you guys can go check out. So make sure you do that. It's like um the and those parts are like in a row so you just watch them i know one's posted beforehand but that part is actually after the second video so go watch that if that makes sense or when it through your head i don't know it's me talking is even you know bouncing all over the place but again i am really looking forward to this the, the next part um again mia i am really trying to see how she ends up coping with this because she finally came to terms finally starting to like build that strong relationship they already had it but she was she's just like oliver she's afraid to kind of express herself it seems and so we finally got there and it was it was really emotional to see her look at him and, and honestly i thought i'm not even trying to be a dick but i thought they were gonna like try to find a way to kind of kill it like where she goes like oh dad like like keep like oh like he's gone but no they kind of played it well like the acting everywhere around in that room was fucking golden bro you see that single tear come down from melissa benoist oh my god then grant i mean his friend just died and then seeing oliver on his bed saying oh you're my friend like bro oh my god just bit my cheek stop <laughs> man this is killing me man i got to <laughs> oh man but again um that's pretty much it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that subscribe button i will be dropping another crisis video tomorrow i am all over the place and that's pretty much it this is your man busy brown until next time peace before i go make sure you guys um drop comments in the post that i posted or you can drop them in this video yeah actually do it in this video and i will read the comments and i'll like your favorite part and i'll even read your questions and answer them um if they're beforehand or i'll read it after just give me any comments or whatever and i'll read them um for the video if you want me to say your name that's fine. If you don't want to say your name, make sure you say that in the comment. And um, But yeah, I will make sure I read them out loud during the video. And that's, that's pretty much it. Make sure you do that, guys. I'm going to actually put this message in the beginning of the, the video as well as the end. So again, this is your man, Mr. Brian. Until next time, peace. Even editing the video, I'm still getting the feels, bro. <laughs>